<sighs> so, yeah, this happened today, but let me explain. <laughs> I've been riding my one wheel for about three weeks now. I picked it up used and it's amazing, so I got it. The one wheel is amazing, it's super fun if you ride it safely. And by riding it safely, I mean don't go way faster than you're comfortable with, don't do extreme braking, don't jump off curbs and don't run on curbs if you don't know what you're doing. Be safe with it, get a helmet, get some padding, get some just things to protect yourself with and you won't end up like this. And I actually got this one too, it hurts as well. Anyways, story time. I took out my one wheel. I was gonna ride for about 10 minutes, right around my neighborhood just to take some pictures. I rode on it with my Sony a7 III and I wasn't worried because I was pretty comfortable with the one wheel. I took it, took some nice shots. I felt pretty comfortable and it came out cool. I rode it faster than what I'm comfortable with. Dangerous part. And then I stopped, you know, trying to practice braking. I did it perfectly. Everything was great. And then I went on a curve, and then when I got on the curve, it shook a little bit and I got kind of worried. Slowed down though, so nothing happened there. I still have my camera in my hand. Remember, the Sony a7 III with a 25 millimeter baddest lens. That's an expensive setup. I have it in my hand and I'm having the one wheel and I'm just riding around. I cut and I curved and I ran through this park where there was just sand on the ground and I rode it pretty fast making that turn on that sand and I was shocked. The one wheel didn't slip. I got to these rocks, I took some nice shots. Well, let's cut forward a little bit. Everything went smooth. I was like, wow, this thing is amazing. So I rode faster. I got faster and then you know how there's a driveway that goes down because you know you go up into your driveway and when it goes down you're on the the cement the kind of like the pavement right so it goes like this and then the pavement a little bit right and when i went down that thing i wanted to brake really really hard just just to see how hard a one wheel could brake and how fast it can brake when I, as i was going down i wasn't realizing i was going down this thing i thought it would be super okay i'll just brake you know barely made it to the pavement and i'll stop right before the pavement that's where everything went wrong. I didn't stop before the pavement. I went down and since I was braking and the pavement goes up like that, you know, that mark right there, the back of the board hits the pavement. And that's where everything happened. I remember it was scratching my board and I can feel it. So I'm trying to go forward to get, you know, the balance back. And as I went forward, I slipped. The board went flying and I first thing in my head that I thought of was just take your foot off the one wheel. But if you guys know one thing is when you're falling, you don't have the balance to put your foot back. So the board was basically just dragging my feet further away from my body. So I fell. Mind you, I have the Sony a7 III with a 25 millimeter baddest lens in my hand. This is where everything goes insane. The first thing I thought of is, this is gonna hurt a lot, right? So I took my left hand and I blocked the ground, which is what caused this. It hit the impact of my palm and then I think it just pushed something really hard through my elbow and now it just hurts. And I think it's bruised, some muscle tearing or something, but, what I had in my right hand was the Sony a7 III and what I did was I raised it up. I left it in the air to protect it and as I was falling, I hit my elbow on the ground and my hand went down and I couldn't stop that motion. Luckily, the Sony a7 III came out unscratched. The lens just a tiny bit which, ooh, that did hurt. but. It didn't hurt as bad as this. This is painful. You see these scratches right here? This this is nothing, you know? Tearing in the skin is nothing. Just a little battle scar. It'll heal up. Fine. This though, oh my god. I felt like something was wrong and I stood up, wiggled my fingers. Everything works fine. See? Fingers work fine. I can't turn it like this though. At first I could. I couldn't even make it go straight. 
But as time passed, the swelling got bigger and it started to hurt. And from going like this, and I couldn't even do any more than this, then this, and now this, right here. That's all I can do. And I can still feel it just about right here. I don't think I dislocated anything because it would be way worse pain than this. The thing is, I didn't go to the doctors, so I'm hoping this would just go away. If it doesn't, yeah, I'm probably gonna go see the doctors. Fair warning, you guys, is the one wheel is extremely fun. It's extremely fun. And if you guys want to get one, get one because it's fun. That's all I gotta say. I wanna take it around everywhere. I take it and go to like 7-Eleven down the street. Just ride that thing normally. Don't go too crazy, you know? Don't don't attempt all these crazy tricks or super fast brake or super fast acceleration. Just cruise with it and you'll be fine, right? One wheel does mention this, is wear a helmet. <laughs> wear paddings, protect yourself at all times. Don't be like me. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna cut hair in a couple days. Hopefully this heals up. If it doesn't, man, it's gonna hurt. Protect yourself, you guys.